What's going on YouTube? How is everyone doing today? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Another episode of Skill School. This is going to be the first two star skill move. Which I know if you guys have seen the thumbnail and thought, hang on a minute, this has to be a one star skill move because I thought exactly the same. There isn't a player on the game that can't do this skill move. But it is a two star skill move. So I've done a little bit of digging. And I found out why. And the reason being, check this out. This is the lowest ranked player on FIFA 21. Plays in the Brazilian League. He is 49 overall rating. And even though he's rated at 49, he has two star skill moves. There isn't a single player. And somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Because I've spent 15, 20 minutes researching and looking. There isn't a single player on FIFA 21 with less than two star skill moves. So that is why every single player in the game can do this. Bit of a curveball by EA there. Bit of a curveball. So, that being said, let's head into the arena and let's have a look at Neymar. And I'm going to show you guys how to use this, where to use this, and the best scenarios um, to use this, use this thing. So here we are. We're in the arena. All is back to normal. And we've got Neymar at our feet. Um... I haven't even told you the name of the skill yet, boys. But we are learning the ball roll today. Two-star skill move. Ball roll. I think everybody will know how to do this. How to perform this move. If you don't know how to perform this move, then you do need to watch this video. Because for me, this is the ultimate move that you need to know. And there's four skill moves that I, in my head, I think you require in FIFA. And the ball roll is one of them. Because it's usable for so many different things in terms of... Just changing a passing angle, getting around a man, getting around a goalkeeper. There's all different scenarios that you can use the ball roll in. I'm going to show you now with Neymar doing it. The ball roll and how it works. You can do it to the left. You can do it to the right. And it is simple as that. You can do it once. You can do it multiple times. You can chain it together. You can do uh, you can do it left and then do it right. And you can just sort of have fun with it and work sort of what's best for you. You can add little heel flick variations in, as you can say there. And this for me is so important. Obviously, we're going to go in at the end of the video like we always do. We're going to go into a little sort of scenario of different scenarios in game where you would use this and the air and the ideas for it one of the biggest ones for me is especially an ultimate team is going around the goalkeeper it is so so simple when you're when you're through one-on-one -on -one like this if somebody it won't work in the arena but if somebody's rushing the goalkeeper you ball roll as he's rushing out to you you go around him and you find the ball into an open net obviously this is the arena it's controlled by the computer it isn't controlled by a human but when it's controlled by a human being he's bringing a goalkeeper out ball roll to one side Leaves you with an open net and you knock it in. It worked in a sense there because it changed the angle. But a lot of the time I would use this uh, pretty much every time I pass the football into someone's feet, I'd ball roll first. Or when I'm looking to play a pass, I'll ball roll just before it. It just adds that little seed of doubt, that little different sort of angle on the ball. It just it changes the whole aspect of the passing lane. You know, we know a lot in FIFA that passing lanes are cut out by the opposing player. And it moves and it, it, it manipulates that passing line, lane and it's such an important skill move. Um, if you guys aren't too sure how to do it, let's all on it over now and we'll check out the graphic and you guys will figure out how to do it. It's a dead, dead easy one. So as you can see, guys, with the graphic, this is very, very simple. On the PlayStation, on the Xbox, on the right analog stick, if you want to ball roll to the left, you hold left on the right analog stick. If you want to ball roll to the right, you hold right on the analog stick. It really, really, really is that simple. Obviously, go into the arena, play around with it. Depending on the length of time that you hold the stick in the direction um, is how many ball rolls your player will do. So get a feel for it. Get a feel for just doing the one ball roll or two ball rolls or one roll one way, one roll the other way. And have a little bit of a practice, get used to it, and obviously try it in division rivals. And um, that is exactly how you do it. So there we go, boys. Ball roll, boxed off. I know 99.9% .9 of you lads will watch this, but for the people that don't know how to do it, go and practice that in the arena. Go and use it in Division Rivals. And like I say, the one to practice in a game situation, which is different to the arena or against the computer, in a game situation as you're going for a one-on-one, -on -one, keep an eye out for your opponent bringing his goalkeeper out. Sorry, that's my phone. Keep, a, a, keep an eye out for the opponent bringing his goalkeeper out. Hit the ball roll to go around the goalkeeper. It leaves you with an open net. 
It's a home run, easy goal, rather than taking the risk of trying to finesse it around the goalkeeper when they save it a lot of the time. That is the most important part to use it. And like I say, this is one of, for me, the four pivotal skill moves that you need in FIFA 21, guys. So what we'll do now, as always, we'll head into the end of the video and we'll have a check out of all the different places that I would use this in-game and show you a few examples so you can see it in-game and in-game situations. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to come and find us over on Twitch, we are live there five days a week from Wednesday to Sunday. The link is in the description, but it's twitch.tv forward slash pull2707 underscore. And I'll see you for the next one, boys. Peace.